H hour minus two minutes is broadcast from the ship and all hands stand by. Sitting at the central console switchboard with a microphone is Dr. Ernest Titterton, assistant to Dr. Holloway. As he announces H hour minus 30 seconds, Dr. Holloway throws the 30 second switch. Dr. Titterton at the automatic firing panel board prepares to broadcast the last 15 seconds. 15. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. the descending water column show the expanding cloud of spray and fog at the base of the column moving outward and covering the ships in the target array. Great quantities of radioactive water from the column descended upon the decks of the nearby vessels and ship hulls a mile away were drenched by the wall of foaming water. This wall of lethal spray and fog eventually covered the entire target fleet. is a spectacular aerial view taken from directly over the blast. Photographic planes return from Bikini and land on their floating bases at sea. are removed and the exposed film forwarded to the Naval Photographic Center in Washington, D.C. Despite the presence of radioactivity, safety patrols immediately enter the lagoon for a preliminary appraisal of the damage. In an effort to reduce dangerous contamination, ships were sprayed with water and special chemicals so that inspection parties could board them.
the destroyer Hughes, her hull ruptured by the blast action, was beached on NU Island in sinking condition. Admiral Blandy, General Kepner, and Admiral Parsons survey the damage in the target array. Shown here is the Japanese battleship Nagato, which flooded and capsized five days after the blast. Seven and a half hours after the explosion, the aircraft carrier Saratoga Grand old fighting lady sank as a result of heavy underwater hull damage. It must be remembered that the primary purpose of the bikini experiments was to secure precise technical information which will be used to determine necessary changes in the design and construction of all military equipment and especially Navy vessels. Vessels required to maintain your Navy at maximum effectiveness we must be fully prepared to protect our national security promptly and effectively in the event that we are attacked. We must defend ourselves against this new and elemental force or be destroyed. This is Crossroads.